So we're waiting for folks to filter in and welcome. So the meeting is being recorded and, uh, and I'll introduce the program and people in just a moment here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start introductions. Uh, we can reintroduce if folks, additional folks show up. So my name is Ilana Earhart. I am the business librarian. Uh, so welcome to job seeking and local help and resources at Jackson County Library Services. This is a partner program with WorkSource Rogue Valley, uh, with uh, BBSI, and with Rogue Community College. So let's go over a little bit of housekeeping. This is a webinar, so your mics are muted, your cameras are off. We will have time for questions and answer. Uh, so please use the chat button to type any questions that come to mind. The Q&A option will be used for technical assistance. So if you're having any problem with your mic or with any of your tech, let us know through the Q&A. On the JCLS website, you'll see our upcoming programs and a book list. I'll share that with you shortly. Uh, you can find books by uh, professionals talking about job seeking, career change, resume writing, and more on, excuse me, on the library's website. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. And Right here, you're gonna see the library's homepage. I'll scroll down just a little bit and you'll see upcoming events. When I click on view calendar, you'll see everything that's happening uh, in the near future. So you can still see that there is a take and make available for teens. This uh, job seeking local help and resources is happening now. Uh, then, Scrolling down, you can see all of the upcoming events. And you can go into the calendar and choose what uh, week and day you want to look at. So there we go. Uh, I also wanted to show you a book list that I created that has some titles that you might like to check out along your process of seeking work. So uh, this is in the chat. If you're having any trouble accessing it, please let me know. And this is just a sampling. So we have plenty more books to offer um, depending on what your information need is regarding job seeking. Okay, so let's go ahead and introduce some folks here. So we've got Carrie Tannehill and Ellie Anderson are part of the library. They're part of our adult services team. Uh, we also have with us today um, some of our uh, representatives from partner organizations. So we've got Cindy Manning from WorkSource Rogue Valley. Uh, we will soon have Rob Hambledon from BBSI, Andrew uh, Mobs is from uh, Rogue Community College. And so I'm going to go ahead and hand the mic over to Carrie Tannehill. Thank you, Alana. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, I'm just going to talk briefly about um, resources we have for job searching at the Jackson County Library Services Library. Um, So this is our new website um, and it's design, um, the, the catalog and the website are combined. So it's important to know if you are searching for something on the website, you'll wanna click this little red round button. So it searches the website, um, but to get to the job seeking resources, you'll wanna click on this kind of yellow min menu button. And then under um, explore and learn, there's things, but the learn is what we're gonna focus on tonight. Under resources, there's a career and education page. So this is a nice handy page because it 
groups all of our job seeking resources together. Um, so we have A to Z databases, um, BrainFuse, JobNow, Learning Express, and Udemy. Um, and um, also we have um, a local resource guide as well. So um, in terms of the databases that I'm going to share with you um, tonight, I'm gonna show a little bit about Udemy. Um, in order to access Udemy, um, you would click on the link and then it would take you to the, the site and then you'd need to sign in um, with like either a Google or Facebook account. And then it, what it is, it's basically kind of like um, Linda or I think it's called LinkedIn Express Learning now. Um, you can take courses related to jobs. So if you search for job, um, there's like a career hacking course that you could take. There's also, um, if you're looking for resume stuff, if you search for resume, um, it'll bring up um, a resume and cover letter writing course that you can take. So um, these are some things that if you're looking for a specific course related on to getting started with um, job searching, this would be a good resource. Okay, so also we have um, A to Z databases as well as another database. This is a little different. It's actually searching for um, jobs. Like if you wanted to look for like a cashier job, uh, say in Medford, Oregon, and say you wanted part-time, you can do search and it'll bring up in a minute, of course, <laughs> never as quick as you want it. Um, so say you were interested in um, a cashier job, say um, at Abby's Pizza, then you'd click on the title and it would take you where you can apply for the job. Also, um, if you are interested in learning more information about that Abby's Pizza in Medford, Oregon, you can go to the business or executive thing and look up Abby's Pizza in Bedford, Oregon. There we go, Bedford, Oregon. Huh, so it doesn't come up, but it did search earlier for um, like um, if you are applying for a job at um, say um, Taco Bell, and you wanna work at that Taco Bell location, it brings up information on that specific business. So if you wanted to know like how much um, employees they have information, this is good information if you're um, researching the company to see if you wanna apply for the job and um, if you have a apply for the job and get an interview and want to learn more about the company, this resource is good as well. Also, they have career resources. Um, if you are um, wanting to know more on your strengths and weaknesses um, and also um, want to research the company, there's an article on that. And then also, if you want to get into the specifics of um, doing resumes and cover letters, which is kind of our topic for the next session, but it does have um, templates. So if you're looking for that, that's a good thing as well. And then also to real quickly, let's see here. Um, there's also BrainFuse Job Now. They have kind of a job search here or if you go down over here to job resources and are looking for like nationwide ones like for general sites or for students and recent grads or veterans, there's links that you can click on to do those. And then also there's um, local resources. So if you're looking for specific jobs in Jackson County government, there are those sites as well. So that's just kind of a general overview of um, resources related to um, job searching that the Jackson County Library Services has. If you are accessing the databases at home, um, you will probably need a library card with us to access it. Um, 
But if you have any questions at all, you can always contact myself. I'm an adult services librarian at the Medford Library. There's also other librarians here that can help you and answer questions. And also Ellie and her team at Ashland are more than willing to help you as well. And I want to add really quickly, uh, you can pick up a tote at Medford, Ashland, um, Eagle Point, or Rogue River Libraries beginning uh, tomorrow. And so that packet will have information from all of the partner organizations here. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you want to contact us, we'll put our information in the chat. Solana. Yeah, uh, so let's hand the mic over to uh, WorkSource Rogue Valley. So Cindy, hello. Hi, <clears throat> so I'm Cindy Manning and I'm with WorkSource Rogue Valley out of the Medford office. We actually have two offices. There's one also in Grants Pass. So um, I'm gonna show a couple of different websites here if I can share. Um, let's see. Give me just a minute. So I'm gonna start off with one that kind of gets you registered with our services. And one of the first steps that you wanna would want to do is to get registered in what's called iMatch Skills. And this is available at imatchskills.org. And you would just come in here and go ahead and click in the job seekers. I'm not gonna go into it because it would take me into the registration, but I just wanted folks to kind of see what it looks like. And there's also um, here for employers as well. And the really nice feature about this service is that what it does is it gets you as a job seeker connected right into the employers that contact us for seeking job seekers. So it's really a matching service to get you connected with the current employers and current services that are available. So I'm gonna go out of that one and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about once you do complete that iMatch skills registration, then you would wanna reach out to us and we have Cherie is one of the best people that we have as far as connecting. And I'm going to put her phone number in the chat real quick. And what you would do with that is you would contact her and she could get you scheduled in for a one-on-one -on -one appointment with one of our career coaches. And at that time, they'll go over a lot of different resources that we have available through our offices. And I'm gonna share my screen again so that I can show you a few of those resources that we have available. So I'm gonna start with our Oregon Employment Department website. And if you are job seeking, you can go into this website and go ahead and click on find a job. And then you can browse Oregon jobs. And this gives you an opportunity to really take a look at some different positions that are available within the area that you're looking. And so you can come down here and say, you just wanna look in Ashland for a sales position. You can click on that. And then it's gonna pull up all of the current job listings for the Ashland area for sales positions. And over here, if you see this little green SR, that means it's a self-referral and you can click right on that to go right in and obtain the information about that job listing. So it's gonna show you right here, kind of the summary of what they're looking for. And so this is a really great way for you to be able to go ahead. You can click on obtain the contact information and you do not need to share your social security number, so you can pass that. And then it's gonna take you right into that job listing. So it's showing you who the employer is and how they want you to apply for that position. So that's one of our really great resources that we have. And now I'm going to share, let's see if I can share a different screen here. And I'm gonna take you into our WorkSource Rogue Valley website to share some other resources. Let's see. 
Sorry, I'm a little glitchy on this. There we go. So this is our WorkSource Rogue Valley website, and this is our local website for you to be able to access different resources. So if you went into the Job Seekers section, and if you were looking for information on unemployment insurance, you can click on that. And then if you click here on Getting Started, it'll take you into a PowerPoint presentation that really talks and walks you through some of the different resources that we have available. We also have a really nice feature here where you can if you wanted to talk to somebody directly from our website, you can just click on this little podium piece and it'll get you right to one of our staff members to answer your questions right away about anything. So um, I'll just go through this with you. There is a My Skill Career checklist that you can go through that just you can write down some of the different information and questions that you might have after going through this presentation. And this talks about really looking at different career success that you can go through and the pathways that we have available. So there are training scholarships that we have available. We have some virtual foundational skills workshops, which include resume writing and um, interviewing skills, also interviewing remotely. So if you're um, doing it virtually, there's some tips and tools on that as well and several other classes. There's different opportunities for you to get into career training. So if you're looking at an opportunity to move into a new career, there's some resources with that as well. If you wanted help getting your GED, there's some information on that and different certifications that you can look at obtaining to help you to be more employable as you're looking for work. So again, it talks about that iMatch skills piece is really your way to get connected directly to employers to be able to receive job notifications from our business services team and to be able to browse job listings and create a match for yourself once you have that taken care of. And then we do have veteran services available. So we do have a representative that can assist you if you are a veteran to to work with you one-on-one -on, -one on getting some of these um, resources as well. And then we have what's called My Work Source. Once you've created your iMatch skills profile, you can actually create goals for yourself for your job seeking, and you can keep track of some of the different workshops that you're attending while you're coming through our services. And training opportunities. The foundational skills classes that we offer are currently virtual. So they will help you to build some of these skills. And as I said, in interviewing, some soft skills workshops, resume writing and networking. And then we have also available is life coaching. So if you are really busy or working but you're trying to find something else, um, looking for a new opportunity for a job or if you're just trying to deal with some different stressors in your life or anxiety might be an issue or time management, this is a really good resource that we can access as well for you. And it is through that iMatch skills registration and connecting directly with one of our career coaches to get a referral for the life coaching sessions. And then we also have our Empower Life Coaching workshops that are offered. There's six different workshops and they are all virtual. And at two week increments, they're offered at different times. So for one two week period, they're gonna be offered at noon. And then another two week period, they're offered at six in the evening so that they can accommodate people's schedules as best we can. We also have an opportunity to refer you if you're looking at just kind of exploring healthcare careers, um, you can take a look at that as an opportunity um, to look at all kinds of different um, resources within the healthcare field. And then administrative field, if you're looking at that, this is kind of an entry and introduction to that type of work. And then we also have the Rogue Valley Trade Center, which is offering opportunities for you to explore different op op work in the trades. Thank you. And then if you're interested in your GED and or if you're interested in English as a second language, English learners there. 
And then we also offer what's called the National Career Readiness Certification. This is a really great certification. There's a lot of employers in our area that will give preference to somebody that has this certification. Asante is one of those employers, but it really gives you an opportunity to give an employer a snapshot of where your skills and abilities are currently within workplace documents and kind of graphic literacy, which is kind of reading and then math. So the workplace documents is kind of how you can explore different um, information and research things. So it kind of assesses that stuff for you. And then we have what's called aspiring minds, where if you are needing to show an employer that you can type a certain speed or that you have skills in a certain area, there's um, you know, 1,200 different assessments that you can take and then show the employer that you have that and validate your skills with that. We do provide some assistance with getting you registered if you do need to um, get some unemployment insurance or maybe answer some questions that you have around that. And then we can help you if you're wanting to get training while you're on unemployment, we can guide you in that. And then there's also a self-employment assistance program if you're receiving unemployment benefits that we can guide you for. We also have training scholarships available. So if you decide that you wanted to get your CDL so you could move into truck driver's um, employment, we can help you out with the, the cost for that training through our services or um, a variety of different occupations. And then we do have opportunities to get you connected with different apprenticeship opportunities as well. We have several other websites too. Rogue Careers is also one that we focus on career planning. And you can also take some assessments to try to figure out maybe what it is that you want to do based on your preferences or interests. And then we have a program called the STEP program. It's the SNAP Training and Employment Program. So if you are receiving SNAP benefits, we have an opportunity to get you connected with a career coach that can really work on creating that personalized job search plan and look at resources to help you with that plan. So they can really um, create that holistic plan for you while you're job searching. And then we do have a staff person that specifically works with migrant seasonal farm workers that can help you in that area as well. And then the career coaching that we offer is really that one-on-one -on -one assistance with a career coach to really guide you in looking at what opportunities are out there for you with your job seeking. And then we have the Oregon Career Information System. If you wanted to access that to do some more exploration, there's lots of different assessment tools in there. And then we have login information available for you when you do come in so that we can provide that for you. And then Quality Info is a website I'm gonna go over real quick too. So I'm not gonna go into it there. And then LinkedIn, we do have an opportunity to get you connected with that. And we do have our Facebook page, which offers lots of different um, current job listings and job search tips that are available in there. And then we have a complaint or grievance procedure. So I'm gonna stop sharing that page and really quickly go into quality info. Or really slowly, depending on how I'm doing. All right, so Quality Info is the State of Oregon Employment Department's website as well. And so this website will provide you with different tools for job searching as well. I'm gonna scroll down here though, to where it says Occupational Profiles. And you could type in, let's say Nursing Assistant. And search. And then I want to go, this is gonna search the whole state of Oregon first, 
but then we can narrow it down to the Rogue Valley. And so what this does is it's, it'll show you a video about nursing assistants. So if you wanted to learn a little bit more about it, and then it's also gonna show you current job listings with the employment department. And, the, and then you'd, all you need to do is click on this to be able to go into the employment department site to explore that job listing. And then you can come down here and it's also searches other websites for different listings as well. So that's a really nice resource there as well. And there's a lot more resources on both of these websites, but I'm not gonna go into too much more detail. Um, your career coach can go over more of that with you, but there's just tons of different information in here. Another really nice tool that I do like to share about this is the wage conversion calculator. So if you're looking for work and you see it listed as a weekly amount or a monthly amount, and you're trying to figure out if that's a wage that is livable for you, you can plug in whatever they're providing and it'll calculate whether, you know, the hourly or the weekly or the monthly for you and the annual. So that's a really nice little tool. So I'm gonna stop sharing that. And I don't know if you wanted to save questions for the end. So uh, looks like we could take a couple of questions now if, if there are questions um, and then head on to information from Andrew. So yeah, if there are any questions, just pop them in the chat. Uh, I also have the option to turn your mic on if you would like that. Okay, um, and just type questions into the chat as they come to you. So let's uh, pass the mic over to Andrew. Um, hello. Firstly, thank you so much, Ilana, for affording me the opportunity to be here. And uh, good evening to all of our attendees and panelists. So my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm a program coordinator for Student Employment Services at RCC. That's the name of our department. And obviously there are tons of resources that I'm happy to share with you regarding job searching. And even if you are not an enrolled RCC student, these are all publicly accessible uh, from our website free of charge. And we also have a lot of downloadable resources in that regard as well. So I'm basically gonna share my screen and take you through a brief tour of how you can access these resources. But before I do, I've actually just typed in the URL to our website, Student Employment Services at RCC, so you can access it easily. Alternatively, you could go to the RCC homepage and then just search Student Employment and you'll probably find our department there too. All right, so hopefully you're seeing our website at this point. And I encourage you on your own time, uh, if, you're, if you're interested, please just check out some of these links that you see here on the left. I'm obviously not going to pick through all of these with a fine tooth comb, but the first one that I would like to show you right here is our community jobs. So if you click on this, it will take you to our community jobs page. And this is a communal space where technically, again, not only RCC students and alumni, but the general public, the Rogue Valley, can come to peruse local job opportunities, namely in Josephine and Jackson counties. So uh, if you were just to click on one, for example, Jackson County, it's going to take you to the most updated job list here. And I personally administer the community jobs page. So I can tell you that daily, every morning, that's the first thing I do on my job. 
as I check the community jobs. And daily, we have new employers from all kinds of industries here in the Rogue Valley wanting to create accounts and post opportunities. And I predict that with the summer coming up, the number of those opportunities are only going to increase. So you see how it categorizes based on the industry. It gives you the company, the job title. And if you click on the actual job itself, um, you could see the specific requirements. So just as an example, let's check out uh, Southern Oregon uh, Orthopedics Medical Assistant occupation here. And it gives you all the details you need, including the pay estimate, the contact information, the application procedure, the links to any websites if you need to apply that way, uh, the email of the recruiter, et cetera, et cetera. Again, all of this is publicly uh, accessible from this link right here, the community jobs tile on our webpage. Uh, but community jobs isn't the only resource that we offer in terms of job searching. So you'll see on the left here, this link that says job search resources. And if you go to that, you'll have a lot of not only local, but even you know, national or remote job boards as well. And you could click on these expandable bars based on your interest. So again, you see our community jobs, the same thing that we just viewed earlier. Um, like our good friends at WorkSource Rogue Valley, we also are on LinkedIn. And if you don't have any idea about what LinkedIn is, or maybe you've heard of it and you, you just have some questions, you know, whether or not you're at RCC right now, I'd be glad to have that conversation with you. Um, so actually, you know what, I'm going to put my email in the chat before I forget. There it is. So if you have any LinkedIn related questions, uh, I'm happy to, to answer those. But basically, there's a lot that you can do here. Um, and it's dual fold. You can do job searching and you can do professional networking. And regarding the job search component, you'll see that our department has a LinkedIn group. So all you need to do to access this is just sign up for LinkedIn and you could just make a free account. No big deal. And then you could request to join the group. And in this group also, you will find no exaggeration, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs that I post each weekly. But it's not only me. This is a communal space for local recruiters and employers, including some of our friends at WorkSource Rogue Valley. Some of the Grants Pass team uh, has a presence here as well. Um, so if you're a job seeker, you can come here and gain free access to job lists weekly across all industries. Sometimes employers from the companies themselves will introduce themselves and post the job directly uh, in that way. And uh, also as job seekers, and uh, you know whether you're a student, alumni, or someone in the Rogue Valley looking looking for opportunities, you can just you know politely put yourself out there. Just say hello. I'm based in Medford or Grants Pass or wherever, and I was looking for you know full time opportunities in this area or this area. If anybody has any leads, I'd appreciate it. And uh, likely that that may be all it takes. I've spoken uh, with a lot of recruiters here and. Those at this call uh, are, are welcome to politely disagree. But the, the message that I'm getting is that right now there are plenty of job opportunities in the Rogue Valley and employers across all industries are ready uh, to take on uh, trained qualified candidates. And in that regard, if you have any questions about skills based training and training programs that RCC offers, I'm more than happy to have that conversation with you as well. Um, so please reach out. Um, so this is our job search resources. As I said, our LinkedIn group is here that you can access. If you click on this tab, this is a communal uh, space for some popular job boards in the Southern Oregon area. Uh, some of them are by specific company or agency, such as Asante, which is one of our biggest employers Hill here, excuse me. Um, if you're looking for opportunities on the local government letter, uh, level, we have the city of Grants Pass and the city of Medford jobs, respectively. We have Chopper Valley, which is a localized job board specifically for Southern Oregon. We have uh, La Clinica, which is one of our prominent uh, healthcare employers uh, that has opportunities, not just in healthcare, actually, but a lot of other areas as well, um, business communications, et cetera. 
we have the Oregon Employment Department, and this is the website, I believe, the uh, that that Cindy just showed you, and it's really good resource as well. So aside from looking up, you know, the job search and the career components, you can do um, things like career exploration on there as well. And then uh, once again, we we partner with WorkSource Rogue Valley in a lot of aspects. So this is a direct link to their website as well. And you can see I'm pretty shameless uh, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> frequent about my LinkedIn plugs right here, but there it is yet again. And besides these, if you click on uh, this job searches, uh, job search resources, this goes beyond the remote, uh, the Rogue Valley to offer for those who are needing remote work um, opportunities that you can do remotely as well. And uh, if you go to this first link right here, Career Sidekick, they list 18 different websites that specifically hire for remote opportunities, such as Hubstaff and Let's Work Remotely. So please, again, even if you are not uh, an enrolled RCC student, you still have free and public access to our website, not only the job searching components, but all of these things as well. Uh, in our uh, next session of this series, two weeks from now, we're going to be talking about resumes and cover letter writing. So in addition to the wonderful free resources uh, through Jackson County Library Systems and through WorkSource Rogue Valley, you can gain a lot right here just by clicking on our career preparation. And one other thing that I wanted to show you, and it's actually uh, mentioned right here, is skill point and skill point is great for job seekers specifically looking for CTE skills based in the, the trades and uh, technical education field. So uh, skill point, you can not only search for jobs, but you can do some career exploration as well. And if you were to click on explore careers, for example, Just as a demonstration, I'm going to click on construction, and I can tell you that there are numerous construction opportunities uh, in the Rogue Valley as well, and some really uh, accessible training opportunities through, through RCC and BBESI. So just as an example, um, if I see something I like, okay, I'm going through here, 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 okay, let's see, oh, okay, I want to learn more about being an electrician. So then it gives you uh, a lot of occupation specific information right here. You know, salary, uh, estimates of the number of jobs. You have a, a nice, a day in the life of video right here for a little career exploration. And, um, you know, any training opportunities uh, that are in your area for the programs that are offered here, you should be able to see them down here. So RCC partners with SkillPoint and we have a lot of uh, training opportunities here that align with our career pathways, um, especially our applied technology where we have opportunities in you know, welding, uh, diesel mechanics and more and more. So please don't be a stranger to this website. You could also just click find jobs right here. And that's uh, another job search resource for you as well. And you could go by field. And then within each field, you could also go um, based on location as well, if you are wanting to do that. So for example, if we click on healthcare, it gives you very specific programs. So let's say, oh, I've always, uh, you know, I heard it doesn't require an extremely long time to train and I enjoy helping people. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to be a nurse yet. So what is this certified nursing assistant? Let me check that out. So hypothetically, if you were to go to that once more, it gives you a lot of jobs in the area. And, uh, the default zip code right here is, is that a grants pass? You can change that. Of course you see immediately Asante, and uh, Avalon, I'm, you know, just just so many opportunities in the area right here. Uh, if you are interested in any of the fields that we saw on our um, previous website. So I'm not going to overwhelm you uh, with an abundance of resources um, since you have the URL. 
But if you have any questions or if you need me to clarify anything, even if it's not right now today, uh, if it's after, you know, perusing the website and you have an interest in, in what more information, regardless of your uh, intentions towards uh, enrolling in RCC or not, I'm, I'm happy to help you. And I can tell you that uh, we have a wonderful uh, community here in the Rogue Valley. All of us are working together because we really believe in the mission of not only community development, but workplace readiness. So all of us in, in this Zoom room and beyond would be happy to help you as well. Uh, so that's all I have, and I'm, I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Um, yeah, if everybody could turn their, all the uh, panels could turn your cameras back on. Um, so we're here, happy to answer any questions. Um, and while we wait for potential questions to come in, I'm wondering, what are the questions that you often receive, um, like Cindy, uh, when people come into WorkSource Rogue Valley? Is there something that you hear pretty often? Um, a lot of times we'll hear somebody asking, how can I get into this um, field of work? And so we really have folks, our career coaches are very knowledgeable in that. And we do, like Andrew was saying, work very closely with Rogue Community College and a lot of our other partners to help access that information for folks. So really help them in doing that research and doing that career planning and really looking at that lifelong learning opportunities so that we are not just helping you get into, you know, your next job, but maybe set up those goals for your future jobs. Uh, a lot of times we'll have folks come in and say, well, right now I just maybe want to be a caregiver, but I think, you know, five years from now, I want to be a nurse. So we can help them through that process of, okay, well, maybe we can help you with some caregiver training right now and help you find employment in that so you can gain some skills and make sure that that's a career that you really want to get into. When you're ready, you can come back. We can help you look at CNA1, maybe CNA2 training. Um, and help get you connected with Rogue Community College to maybe move on into that nursing field and really looking at those stepping stones and career pathways to get into what's going to be a sustainable employment for somebody. And I was doing some research uh, trying to find out, you know, what jobs are people kind of looking for most often right now? And I was finding a lot of people are trying to get into construction, but they can't necessarily get into a job because of a lack of experience. Um, and it sounds like my volume is a little down. Are people able to hear me? It's really low. <laughs> I heard you say something about people trying to get into the construction field, I believe. And so we do have, uh, we partner with um, one of our other work source partners that provides a overview of the different trades and that's a really, it's a pre-apprenticeship program. And it's a really great opportunity for somebody to get in there and just kind of explore the different trades. So they do some different practice on construction. They do some electrical, they do some plumbing. So they can get kind of an overview of all those different trades and then find out what those next steps are in moving into that. And they're also you know, they're connected with our partner to get that training and then connected with our business services team to get um, opportunities for connecting with an employer that's willing to give them that start and move into apprenticeship if that's what they're looking at. We also have a lot of internship opportunities where through our program, we can help pay for their training. So earning while you're learning, basically you're pay getting paid an hourly rate while you're learning the skills on the job. And the goal is that you can gain those current references, current skills. And even if you're not gonna stay with that particular employer, at least you, you're getting a good reference there and an opportunity then to, to move on into something that you're wanting to do and kind of get your foot in the door there. And some of the in current internship opportunities we have, we have some with La Clinica and we have some with um, Oregon Department of Human Services. And we do have some uh, that are construction based as well. So yeah, it just kind of depends on what the person is interested in. And we try to look at opportunities that are gonna help you to get into that. 
That's really awesome. Um, please let me know if you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm curious, Andrew, what are some of the questions that you get pretty frequently? So that, that's an excellent question, Alana. Like Cindy, um, there have been some recent inquiries of uh, sort of practical opportunities, uh, namely internships. And uh, I just found out yesterday, actually, that our RCC has a cooperative work experience department, CWE, and that is potentially going to be able to start back up in our summer term, which is excellent. And I believe that would be uh, June, June the 21st. So any interested RCC students who uh, want on-site work experience, basically what this entails is the student, the instructor, and the employer coming together and going through uh, the steps and making an agreement. And sort of like the earn, earn to learn, it's, it's a similar concept. Potentially, uh, you could be paid or at least earning college credit uh, while getting these valuable skills and just a, an invaluable uh, insight into the authentic work environment. Uh, another question uh, that we get a lot uh, are, you know, about skills specifically. You know, I find that a lot of uh, students and, and others are interested maybe in this career field or that, but they're not too sure if they, you know, have what it takes, so to say. And pretty much every student who, who asks that is, is already underselling themselves. Part of my job, which I enjoy, is to help them realize that they, you know, are really skilled and not just in the technical training, but as Cindy was talking about, whenever you are able to have a successful experience in one job, you're going to need certain skills and training that helps you maneuver quickly. This is how people change career fields entirely. So that being said, uh, really training them uh, on what we call transferable skills. These are things like teamwork, communication, a strong work ethic, uh, attention to detail, organization skills. It really doesn't matter what industry, whether you're wanting to break into the construction industry or the healthcare industry or, um, you know, computer science or something like that. Any employer wants the candidates to be equipped with these skills right here. And uh, the good news is, is that a lot of people already have them, but knowing that they want those skills, you know, if there are some areas that you want to develop, let's say, for example, you know, I had a student who uh, we were talking about this and they said, you know, I'm pretty good here, here and here, but most of the time I work alone. I haven't really done a lot of teamwork you know, outside of a few class projects here or there, but then the pandemic hit and then we were all online and it's like, you know, okay, I, it's excellent that you're aware of that. And it's excellent that you're determined to build your skills in this regard. So what practical experiences, whether they're paid, preferably of course, but also unpaid, can you put yourself in feasibly right now, sooner than later to start getting those skills immediately? Because that um, is what, what, employers want, not just here in the Rogue Valley, uh, but beyond. I even read an article. Um, I follow uh, the National Association of Colleges and Employers, NACE. NACE is the organization that goes into the workforce and they report on uh, data every year about new career trends, not only based on specific industries, but just in general. And one trend that they've noticed uh, right now is while in you know in school your your grades are important your GPA, uh, but a lot of employers are not weighing the GPA as heavily these days as they were uh, before because those transferable skills are coming more into play. Obviously, there are exceptions, namely in the medical field and engineering and things like that. But in general, you know these these transferable skills have inherited the earth, and then that comes with the next question, which students ask me a lot resumes and cover letters. How can I let employers know that I have these skills? Which two weeks from now, I'm sure that we'll be able to elaborate more on that. Uh, but those are some of the common questions. And, you know, I'm the type of person, if you want any kind of practical experience, even if I don't know immediately what the first step is, I'm, I'm going to help you find out. I'm super motivated to help individuals who are taking initiative. And by the way, taking initiative, I'll end with this, made the top 10 uh, skills in demand across all industries via the National Association of Colleges and Employers. So, you know, just by being here at this webinar, you've taken initiative 
in a way, which is an excellent first step. So depending on what your needs and interests are, again, we're, we're, we're glad to be here to, to help you. And the process that Cindy was talking about earlier, a lot of collaboration, a lot of scaffolding, we want you to succeed no matter what your career goal is. So we are really passionate about working together to provide like well-rounded support to help you in, in every aspect. Uh, so I hope that I hope that I've made that clear. <laughs> so just to tag on to that, what Andrew was saying, um, when I was talking about those uh, empower classes that we offer, those classes were all geared around those soft skills. <clears throat> and so what we did is we connected with local employers and created what was called the employability rubric and really looking at what it is that those employers are looking for in those soft skills and all of those workshops were designed around that. And those are absolutely free for anybody to attend and they are virtual and excellent presenters on that. And I've all, all I've gotten is really positive feedback from folks that have attended those and just really gets you motivated and really thinking about a lot of those different um, emotional intelligence and really planning skills and really looking, you know, doing that little deeper dive into what it is that you want and how you can be successful in that. And uh, from the library, so Carrie and Ellie, are there questions that you commonly get about job seeking uh, in relation to library resources? And uh, what are those questions? How do you tend to answer them? Maybe we can go with Carrie first, yeah. Can you repeat the question, Alana? Yeah, what are some questions that you get frequently at the reference desk uh, from people who are looking for jobs? Um, probably the most common question um, is to um, find templates for resumes and um, cover letters. Um, also, we have had, with the pandemic, a fair amount of people um, applying for unemployment, um, so help with that. Um, and also, um, you know, interview skills and so forth. Um, those are kind of the most common questions. Ellie, do you have anything to add? Um, our, our libraries, Ashland and Medford, are kind of, we have our own different cultures. So, Ellie, have you had other questions at Ashland besides those? I was thinking about how um, folks who maybe lost work because of the pandemic or just are sort of faced with having to figure out what's next and may have been in the same job for a long time. And um, so people come and ask us, do ask us about, um, about the job skill training kinds of things. And so that's one reason I'm happy to be hearing about what's out there to be able to refer people. Um, or we do have a lot of people who might be like farther along in their career and coming in like, all right, well, I need to use the library computer to do up a resume like Carrie was saying, or even apply for work or search for job listings. And a lot of folks have a hard time knowing where to start. Um, uh, people looking on, looking on Craigslist or just doing, you know, searching very sort of generally. So this more specialized, being able to point people toward the more specialized job search resources, like the ones that Carrie mentioned at the beginning or the, those that are available through our um, partners here is, is I think gonna be helpful. Okay, well, I'm really, really happy that we got to share resources, um, make sure that people are aware of the support that's available to them. Uh, this recording will be put on YouTube and our partners will be able to share that with their, um, their communities as well. So thank you everybody for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, our attendees. And um, so I do wanna catch any last questions before we kind of uh, close out the room and everything uh well the contact information is in the chat and thank you everybody we will see you in two weeks thank you alana looking forward to the next one bye bye thank you thank you